Okay, so in the first exercise we are asked to write a short Python function called is multiple, which will take two integers, val two integer values, n and uh, m, and will return true if n is a multiple of m. Okay, perfect. So to do that, uh, we're going to use the modulo operator in Python. First, let's define the function. So n, and I'm going to also use type hints. n is going to be an integer and also m an integer. And we want to return a boolean. Okay. So we want to check if um, n is multiple of m. To do that, we can use the modulo operator, which is the percentage sign. What this operation will return is the remainder after dividing n by m. And if the remainder is 0, that would mean that n is a multiple of m. So pretty easily we can say return remainder equals equal equals 0. Okay? So that should actually do it. And to test it, I'm going to run the script. Um, yeah, going to chapter zero one. So I'm going to run the script interactively using the, uh, Python dash e and the name of the script. And I can call is multiple. We can try with something that we know is false for three. Okay, so this is false, and if we do for two, is true, and ten to. Okay, so this works, and it's a pretty short solution. But we can actually turn this even into a one-liner. We don't need to perform this check. We can uh, act because in Python um, you can when you convert a value into a boolean zero will be false so we can use that to make our code even shorter so we can um, actually do something like this first I'm going to exit so instead of returning here I would do something like return not so if n modulo m is 0, which evaluates to false, but for us, it, um, in this, this is the case where uh, the function should return true because, in fact, well, n modulo m will be 0, which evaluates to false, but um, for our case, that is the, the case where true should be returned by the is multiple function, uh, which would mean that n is a multiple of m. That's why I'm using the negation here with not so we can try it again and is multiple for two is true and if we do five two is false yeah i think that's it for the first exercise uh, make sure to subscribe because i will solve all the exercises in the data structures and algorithms in Python book. See you in the next one.